See? I told you they come back. Why do you do that? <laughs> because it makes me feel tingly inside. It's enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. So, Clifford and I analyze the data. I mean, Clifford analyzed the data, and I analyze Clifford. Uh, let me give you an example of my sort of thinking. Hey, could you stop it with the keynote thing? Uh, sorry. Can I make a call here? Hello? Who is this? I'm calling you from a top secret former government facility. I told you. We told you to return the civilian life, Avon. It was all a setup, shortstop. Shortstop? <laughs> I always wanted to call someone that. Uh, listen, you're going to get us all killed. It's as clear as the very natural looking hair on my head. What are you talking about? They're not plugs. Don't you see that the fact that they told you to fire me proves beyond all reasonable doubt that you were wrong and this is a conspiracy? Let me give you an analogy. Why are you talking like that? It really annoyed people when you were working on site. I'm a visionary. I see things. Listen, I'm running late to a departmental potluck, so... Fuck your potluck! This is about stopping a fucking war! Not that again. Goodbye, Avon. See you on planet Earth one of these days. Potluck? Of course. Of course, it's... it's now! It's fucking now! Clifford is right, the data is clear, it's right now! The entire department is out sharing meatloaf and potato salad so their base can be permanently shut down! We have to do something now! Right, well, we are a bunch of armed felons, and you're breaking all kinds of security clearances and discussing the musings of a badly named computer. No police force in the world is going to believe us. You'll have to go there and stop it right now. I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. It takes a lot. All right. Off we go, huh? I'll keep you posted. Come on, let's go.
assassinations of the last 10 years comes a radio-controlled missile turret the whole family can enjoy. If the Defense Department would just sign off, perfect reflexes, no hesitation, no PTSD, conscience-free kills. Can you shut up about Clifford for a second, please? Hey, just take out this foreign army. Everything's fine. I know these people. Oh, I'm supposed to be at a potluck. Who were they? What the hell is going on? These nice people saved us. Now, we don't know each other, by the way, me and them. If you think you know me, you don't. Who do you work for? Can I get this place on lockdown right now? Come on, you imbeciles. No, there is no potluck. I don't give a shit about your banana cream pudding. Maybe next time you'll listen to me. What's this Cretan doing here? Saving your life once again, but for the covert operation I financed, you'd all be dead and the country would be in the hands of, of, uh, well, who exactly? That's the problem. This place has more leaks than a thing you dry salad in. But who and why? Can I log on to Clifford here? Sure. It's Russians. We know it's Russians. This attack is one of their signature moves. That's the whole point, Mrs. Rackman. It's meant to look like Russians. We think it's not Russians because that would be too easy. Now, Clifford says that there's a 99% probability it is some Russians. Not Iran? Iran, no. Clifford says, Clifford says it's this man. Codename Bogdan, surname unknown. Russian agitator, hitman, and war mongerer. Uh, I'm not buying any of it. Well, someone just tried to kill you and the data footprint tracks back to him. Look. Look at the graphics. Okay. Can we get some people on this right away? Where's that buffoon? Which buffoon? The one who caused the assault by the museum. Can I get some support here? Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you. Bye, both of you. A congressional medal. Big party at the Capitol. It's been an honor to serve. Oh, go fuck yourself. No, not you. Clowns. Public sector clowns. The cloud, the crowd, hell, the cleaners could solve this problem. With Clifford, there is no problem now. Thank you very much. I'll be in touch. Thank this, work this. Where's my assistant? I'm supposed to be giving a speech somewhere. Ugh.